Hey guys, my name's Om and welcome back. And this week, we're cutting anything out of Photoshop in less than a minute. But first, the votes are in, the numbers have been counted, drum roll, and the winner is... Commiserations to Daniel, but congratulations to Badir Ohami. Sorry if I said that wrong. Both entries were excellent and thank you so much for them. I really meant a lot. Let's get back to the tutorial. Open Photoshop and import the image that you want to cut something out of. Then there's only three steps left. Find the pen tool on the left here and draw around the object you want to cut out. You don't have to be accurate or precise, just be closest as possible to the object. Pro tip here, don't use as many points. You don't need that many. Once you've drawn around the object and clicked on the first point and close the path, click on the path tab on the right. If you can't find this, click on windows at the top and select path. Paths is an active window that keeps an eye on what you're drawing. Once you're happy with the outline of the object, double click the layer and to close it off, right click on this layer and select make selection. Which will then bring up bring which will then bring you to this pop up window. It'll ask you how much you want to feather the ob how much feather you want on the line. I'm going to leave it at one and hit OK. You'll notice now that this line, this outline draw has become selected. Then go back to the layer tab. Make sure that your image is selected and click on this mask button at the bottom here. You'll notice it's automatically got rid of everything around the object. Pro tip here, if you want to get rid of the object and keep everything around it, just press Command, Control and I on the mask and it'll, it, it will invert it for you. Okay, the object's cut out but we can be a bit more accurate. On the left hand side, you'll see that the color palettes at the bottom have changed to black and white. This is similar to masking in After Effects, where white will bring back, where white will bring everything in and black will remove anything. Photoshop here allows you to select the brush tool and use the same system to paint back in or remove parts of the object. This means that if I've accidentally removed something, I can paint it back in or vice versa. So like here, we're missing a part of the image. I'm going to use a brush. Make sure white is selected in the palette and pick a brush with a feather on it. You can pick whatever brush you want. You can have a harsh edge, a square, a brush with a shape, whatever you like. So here, I'm going to brush back in the detail as much as I want. If I accidentally go too far, I can select the black color and paint it back out. And guess what, guys? You're done. As always, thanks for everything, guys. Hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll see you next week.